Yeah. What's up, Lucci Gang? How y'all doing? Welcome back to the channel. Hit the like button before we get the video going. And don't be in our life subscribe, subscribe right, right now. now. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly Jean. This is Kelly Jean. And this is Lucky Luke. My Uncle husband. Luck, what it do? Y'all, if you're new to this channel, I really encourage y'all that after this yeah. video, um, y'all go back and watch all our old videos. Just so that y'all can the see the transformation. You can see the growth. You can see how good God has been to us. Amen. If you hear something in the background, this is a disclaimer. You know, we got children. Anyways, um, today we wanted to come on here. And give y'all some words of encouragement. And speak life And sprinkle into some you. blessings on you. So... This is a video that you can watch with your kids. And if you've been struggling with a teenager or whatever the situation is, you know, I do encourage it for y'all to get together as a family and sit down and watch this because um, it's important to be united as a family. Like we just said, we have a big family and I know it can be kind of hard, but this is something you can do together. And it's very motivating, inspiring, and, um, and gonna help y'all. And when we first started doing these YouTube videos, we started showing y'all a lot of behind the scenes, what was going on with our personal life and and us you know just going to go eat or going to go do activities or just being here at home with our kids but i feel like we done showed y'all everything that we do you know what i'm saying y'all done seen us go hang out a million times y'all done seen us go on vacation here, us eat go our favorite spot yeah so we feel like in this season god wants us really really to help y'all and minister to y'all and really try to motivate y'all and try to inspire y'all and 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 let God shine his light through us to y'all so y'all can see how good God has been with us. You know what I mean? So lately we haven't really had time to vlog and you know you have to excuse us but it's because of the chapter that we're in right now. God has been using Lucky myself uh, to minister and you know a lot of times uh, we don't come to your city or um, you know it's just stuff happens to where you can't get the type of ministry that we're doing behind the scenes um you know face to face or in person so we were like you know what we need to just bring that into what we've already been doing which is this the youtube and like i said i encourage you if you're a new viewer to go back just to, so you can see the growth and um we're just gonna let y'all know a couple things that uh have been in, on our hearts at first it started me doing like uh motivation videos for y'all in the morning i would do the motivation videos and we would start try to like sprinkle y'all some life game and give y'all some sermons or some daily devotions a little bit on youtube and then i started doing the music ministering through the music but right now god has us like out there in the public and really out there going to different cities and going to different churches and really talking to the the people in the church and the people that normally that that don't even go to church but they know they might listen have been listening to my music from back in the day or they watch us on YouTube, they're subscribers, so they just wanna come see, you know, and normally they probably wouldn't be in church. So we're bringing people to the church house, you know what I'm saying? And let it, showing them what, you know, God has done in our life. And I think that's what God has called us to do right now in this season of our life is to use this platform to glorify him and, you know. And reach y'all and just let y'all know and plant seeds, you know, in your life um, and in your heart so that you can start seeking God's face and um, really start allowing him to come into your life. Okay, let them know. What does that mean when you say seek God's face? Because so, uh, uh, maybe a, a non-Christian or somebody who really isn't into their word, they don't understand when you say seek God's face. Because, because you know, back in the day, I wouldn't have understood what that meant if someone said you got to seek God's face. So, um, basically, a relationship with God. You know, um, like kind of like Lucky. You know, this is Lucky. You know, you know him as the rapper. But, you know, I could know of Lucky and like vice versa. You can know of God. But to actually know Lucky and like I'm married to him, so I know what he likes. I know what he, you know, uh, stands for. I know morals and values, this and that. That's a different story. So when you're seeking God's face, you're actually getting to know God. You actually have a relationship with him. So that's what I mean by seek God's face. Yeah, so you can't see God as like a sugar daddy or Santa Claus yeah. or a genie in a lamp. Like you can just come to God with a whole bunch of list of stuff that you want him to do for you that you really got to come to God with thanksgiving, like giving thanks. That's the first thing off the muscle What you got to do is give thanks. Thank you, God. Thank you. You know, that's how you got to come to God. 
you know, and God is like, God is, God is love, is spirit of love. God loves you. God's not like a angry God ready to punish you and ready to send you to hell and ready to, that's good. You know, that's not what God is. God loves you no matter what, through all your faults, through all everything, all your miss, miss, all everything you couldn't get right every time you fall off or every time you backslid or every time that, you know, you've, just didn't do the right thing when you knew you should have did the right thing. God still loves you. You know what I mean? And God's still waiting there with his arms open. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. God is always there. He's just waiting for you to call on him to help you. So see God's face. That's what that means. It's like actually speak out and ask for him to come into your life and to help you. You have to actually ask him because God is a gentleman. He's not going to force himself onto nobody. And this video might not be for everybody because you might be at a point where you're not ready to listen to this. You know, some people are not teachable. Some people are like so stuck in their way that they think that they got it right. But you know, I hope that this is a seed being planted once again. Um Yeah, you'll get tired of bumping your head against that wall. You'll get tired. Of, you'll you'll you know you'll finally get tired and be like, okay, I have had enough. You know what I'm saying? I want to get my life right. I want to, you know, because when you walk in God's will, you will walk right into a blessing. You know what I'm saying? God's got blessings waiting for you, but you got to walk in alignment with his good, with his will. You know what I mean? When you're walking on your own will, you know, you're, you're going to hit a bunch of roadblocks. Yeah. Now, walking in God's will, you will have, you know, obstacles and roadblocks too, but that's, those are used for your growth so that you can grow. So when you overcome those by remaining strong in your faith, knowing that you've been obedient, you know, if you've, if you've been obedient to God's word and, and really walking in his will, when those things come up in your life, you're able to stay strong in your faith because you know you've been obedient. You know what I mean? So you know that this is just another test. I'm going to get through it because I'm standing on God's promise. And I know God got me. So then you overcome that. And then that's how you grow spiritually and you're able to grow. And then there'll be a blessing waiting for you on the other side of that struggle. And I want to just explain a little bit because obedience, uh, God's will can be a little confusing to somebody that's not, you know, into the church or has not had a relationship or just didn't grow up or, you know, come up knowing about God and God's will and being obedient to God. So God's will, you really have to get in his word. God's will. Well, all that means is his morals, his values, what he wants for you, what he asks of you. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's not nothing else other than that. So he says that you are to love your brothers and sisters. He says that you're supposed to, you know, forgive. And put God first. God first of, in your life. Okay, let me give you an example. And, and love others. Yeah, love others. You know, love everybody. You know, even your haters. You got to love everybody. But when I say put God first... It's like uh, if you're if you're struggling with something and you're um, say your kids are getting on your nerves and like for me, this happens with me If my kids getting on my nerves and the house is I'm angry. You know what I'm saying? I could run to the store and get a six pack of beer, drink the six pack of beer and sit on the couch and not care what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? But then I would be leaning on that six pack of beer. So then I'd be putting that six pack of beer first. God wouldn't be first in my life. You know what I'm saying? Or if you, it, that and that that can go to anything. You can put uh, eating, or you can put an addiction to smoking weed. You can put an addiction to anything. Um, or TV. Yeah. Even as little as TV. You know, blocking everything out just to zone out on and some binge TV. Watch Netflix. Um, yeah. That is what is priority in your life instead of seeking Him. You know, and allowing Him to do His will in your life and use you. You know, and like like he was saying, when He uses you. He's not just going to make a, you know, clean shot, you know, to a winning success and, yeah. you know, you ball in, you're yeah, rich, nah, you're this, is. you're that. That's not what it is. It's actually being a disciple and actually going through, you know, the tough times and learning right from wrong and learning through your your walk you know what i'm saying so it's not it's not going to be easy and he is going to put obstacles but you're going to go through it and you have to know how to call on him so that he can strengthen you and uh, get you through that stuff so one thing that i really 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 want to tell y'all is um and it's been on my heart all week this is something i told myself is that when i start thinking negative because that happens to everybody you know you have that one little voice in your head that something you know goes wrong or you look at somebody and you just start 
thinking negative about that person or about the situation, you need to stop that. Because that's thinking with your carnal mind you and need you're to, not being led by the spirit. You need to snap out of it. And you need to train yourself to turn that thought around and rewire your brain to think positive. To, you know, um, okay, ugh, he's so grumpy. Instead of saying he's so grumpy, be like, you know, he's a wise man and he's been around for a while. <laughs> and, you know, you know, just something simple as it's going to be okay. Or I got this. Or, um... I'm beautiful or I'm strong or whatever it is, but just snap out of it and start thinking positive. And, you know, it's not going to happen overnight, um, but it's li the little things that matter that you start changing in your life right now um, at this moment and just start embracing um, life as it is and as it comes because it's going to rain. It's going to not be a beautiful day every day, but you do have control over your thoughts and your actions. So I hope that y'all choose better for y'all selves, better for your family, better for your um, relationships, better for your finances, for your job, whatever it is that you have going on in life right now. Yeah, and I would I would uh, recommend reading the book of James. It's only five chapters. It's a short book, but in the book of James, it says that we will have trials. It doesn't say that you might have trials. It, will, it don't say that you're going to be happy walking with God. It doesn't say that. It says you're going to have trials. But it says you're to count count it all as joy and rejoice knowing that these trials are being used for my spiritual growth. So I'm you, God is using this so I can grow so he can take me to the next level where he wants to take me. But during those trials, the enemy will creep up and tempt you. And once you you might want to go run to a blunt or run to a six pack or, or do something that's out of God's will mm -hmm. because you're going through a trial right now. So you got to overcome that temptation and then overcome that temptation and stay prayed up and full of faith, knowing that you're going to get through this trial because God got you. And that's how you level up to the next level of spiritual maturity. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So another thing we want to encourage is for y'all to get in the word. Um, and I know that when I first started reading the Bible, it was kind of like, uh, you know, I'd read like two little lines and I'm like, okay, that's enough for today. But now I'm able to read, you know, and I don't want to stop reading, but sometimes I have to, cause I have, you know, to get going with my day or the kids are getting loud. Um, but it's really important for you to just pick up the Bible and start somewhere. And that's how you're going to, uh, start growing spiritually and know God's will, know what he wants for you, know the promises that he has for you. And, you know, you're going to start learning. So that's really, really important. That's part of being in a relationship with God. Um, other than just praying, because you can't just rely on prayer. You can pray all day long, but if you don't know what he has written for, you know, your life and what he has. Yeah. You got to read, you got to read, but you guys, um, other than that, I just wanted to um, tell y'all, thank y'all for supporting us throughout this whole time, you guys. It's been such a crazy thing that we just started vlogging and then we didn't have babies on here. Or we didn't have a whole wedding on here. Um, and now we're doing like ministry, you guys. And so we just love where God has us in this season. Um like Lucky was saying, the book of James, and then uh, somewhere else in the Bible, it also says that there's always seasons, and you have to learn how to embrace that. You know, there's going to be a season of planting seeds. There's going to be a season of... Um, reaping your harvest. Yeah, reaping your harvest. So uh, wherever you are in life right now... It's just a season. It's a season. Remember that, and, you know, be ready. Be ready. You have to stay ready for what's next to come. So if this is your season of planting seeds, this might be a seed that's being planted in you right now. And just continue to water the seed. Read your word, pray. And, and if seek. everything's going right and you're having money and you're up right now, don't get caught up in that because that too is just a season. Yeah. You know as saying? easy as he gives it to you, as easy as he can take yeah, it away. That's just a season um, too, man. You know what I'm saying? Remember, you can't take it with you. When we all got to go and you can't take none of this with you. Yeah. So seek um, support, a support system, accountability, people that are, you know, um, basically involved in the same things that you want, that you are 
you know. Yeah, you can't be no Lone Ranger Christian. You can't do it by yourself. You got to have somebody that holds you accountable and somebody um, that's that you can fellowship with and, and talk about the word of God with. Because if you just by yourself, it's, it's not going to work like that. Yeah. You have to get poured into. You can't you can't just expect to do it all on your own. And then once you once you've been poured into, you got to pour into someone, someone else, else too. Yes. You know, cuz if you're just by yourself at home, you're not doing what God has called us to do. God has called us to go out there and be, you know, share our testimonies with the world, you know, and and share the goodness of God with everybody. So that's what you are called to do once you've been poured into. So that's why it's important to, you know, get what of group of like-minded people and uh one other thing i wanted to touch base on before this video ends is the trinity and this is really important because growing up i grew up catholic and so you know they say el padre el hijo el espíritu santo or like the father the son and the holy spirit but i never really understood what the holy spirit part of it was and um once i became a christian and you know i started learning about this i was like wow you know it was like a um a eye opener and i really uh wanted to touch basis on that and just explain that to y'all how the father is god and the son is jesus christ and the holy spirit is the spirit that lives inside of you so the holy spirit is always with you you just have to really 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 sit still and um call on the holy spirit to you know be present in your life so that you can feel that fire inside of you you know god didn't intend you to do this on your own like we just said and and also so let me add on to that when when jesus was alive he was here with us but when he got crucified and ascended up into heaven the holy spirit was left for with all of us to call on so that's what the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit is. The Holy Spirit is always around you, always with you and within you. You just have to call on it. Yeah, and walk in God's will, obviously. Um, we're always excited to hear y'all's stories. So make sure y'all type down below in the comments and let us know, you know, what you've been dealing with. Um, you know, share your testimony or share um, in what way this video has helped you. And before we go, I want to let everybody know that this Friday I'll be in El Paso, Texas at the Enhanced Christian Center um, this Friday in El Paso, Texas, ministering and performing uh, my new music. Sunday, I believe, in Carlsbad, New Mexico. We'll be there also on Sunday in Carlsbad, New Mexico. So if you're in that area, come on, check yeah. us out. Also, if you like Lucky Shirt, it does say prayer made. Make sure y'all go and shop at LuchaMTV.com. And with that being said, we are going to sign out. We love y'all so very, very much. And we pray blessings over you, your family, your relationships, your finances. And can't wait to see y'all again. Stay blessed. There is no other greater than the God